Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte has declared a lockdown of the capital Metro Manila to raise its COVID-19 alert to the highest level, during which the movement of everyone will be significantly limited. Nakadungog mi aning COVID ni ato pang February. Nya muraglayo pa man kayo to kay gamay rang positive. Nya kasagaran gikan biyahe. On January 30th, Philippines recorded its first COVID-19 case in Manila. Unbeknownst to many, the virus would manifest a month later with over 100 cases spread across major cities. On March 16th, President Rodrigo Duterte locked down major cities like Cebu to curb the outbreak. Nahadlok ni pagkahibaw nga quarantine kay unsao na lang among panginabuhi. Non-essential industries closed or implemented work-from-home programs. Public transportation was suspended, community events postponed. While many Filipinos could take necessary precautions, the urban poor could not. Christy Beho from Cebu is one of them. Akong mga anak diritanan o pat, akong mga igsoon diya sa babaw, tulo ka buok, wala sila trabaho. Ang akong mama na dito sa Manila na lockdown. Needy families were forced to stay home even if it meant being cramped together in spaces no larger than the standard bathroom. Pagdid sa ona, tagadari na jud mi. Ang maig soon, dagko na lang ni. Na dyan po ni Dinhi. Kana mong gipo yan Dinhi sa kamang balay. At baboy dyan na siya sa una. Kaya kung iya ang nagbuhi magbabuyan niya karon kami na lay ni Pulik. Namo lang gibaligi tarong-tarong gamay. Ang gisiminto anog tarong. Idagan man mananap. Around 20 million Filipinos live in slums where they have to survive poor housing conditions, lack of sewage facilities, and little to no access to clean water. Grabe kalisod kay sa una makatrabaho man ko jutay labalaba niya ako ba na manika dito makakuha ng 300, 4, may na lang kay makasudan-sudan big mga manok yung nanak siguro niya lisod suka nakuha ng coronavirus di ko kalabalabag tarong niya di ko kay ko kaliuk-lihok ang lisod yun nga adlo na magatang kuhan walang wala jud ni oy Sobra ka walang wala para itong sus, wala dyan yung magkaw ng mga anak. Sige dyan yung logaw, may ingon ng mga bata mo, sige lang taglogaw ani. Local government units struggle to take care of thousands of families. Philip Zafra, a city councilor, headed relief operations in one of Cebu's main villages. Irregardless of economic strata, everyone is affected on this. But as to the impact, so, mo na ningon ng gobyerno nga katulang yung pinakalisod at tontagan. We are also preparing to provide them the provisions, the basic necessities and essentials. Nagsaligra po ni sa ayuda sa barangay. May na lang po, at least may bugas. Pero, horot na jud among sa dinas. <laughs> Wala na kayo misod ang jud. Ang pamagi na mo karoon kaya no? Da ginuton lang kung ano na mga dilata, na bugas, amoy guigoon sa mga bata, kay lisod pud ang mga bata way kaon. When desperate, Christy resorts to stealing vegetables from her neighbors. Although the government promised cash assistance for the needy, when we met Christy in April, she had not received any money only relief goods that came weeks apart and in waves. But we know for a fact that the government cannot sustain the same if we will reach up to how? Five, six if months or one year. That's one thing that our uh, medical expert, we survey our economic team, should look into uh, more seriously and focus because sa una to, pag ingon tax, sustain sa tong ekonomiya nga without risking the health of the people because we could not just be placed for so many months under ECQ. 
Under the Enhanced Community Quarantine, or ECQ, each household had one quarantine pass, enabling one family member to go out for essential goods and services. Residents found outside without a valid reason could be fined, jailed, or made to do community service. Kung madakpan sa tanod, madakpan sa police, then we have to really put them on on cell. Pero kung dili ang ang gibuhat, atong gi-encourage ang atong citizenry to take pictures of them. Then akong i-post sa akong FB. Haran said, makulay lang attention at the same time, mar mauaw sa sila gamay. But for some urban poor, they'd rather get fined, arrested, or shamed online than stay hungry or cooped up in homes that become furnaces during humid summers where temperatures can hit 41 degrees Celsius. Maglisod ni kay walay tarong nga supply sa tubig. Gamay among balay, sikit-sikit pa jud mi. Unsaon man na nga kinahanglan man mi mugaos para na aming makaon. Wala po mi mapalitan og face mask diri. During the lockdown, surgical masks and sanitizers were severely in lack, even in hospitals and healthcare centers. And for people like Christy, these vital items were too expensive. This lack of protection worries experts, as they fear many cases are going undetected. So if there's no testing in a community, the no case just means that no one is detected as of now. So. I think that should put things into context, that we should be at a heightened alert. The Philippines has one of the highest COVID-19 mortality rates in Southeast Asia. Early detection could help curb the outbreak and prevent more deaths. So the government has set a goal to test 1% of the population, slightly more than a million people. In Cebu, Authorities are strategically testing at least 10% of the population, or 23,000 families. We would rather that we will conduct the testing on the densely populated areas. Katong walay fence nga balay, no? Katong sikit yung mga balay, kay kana may lisod ka ayon na to nga i-address. If si Mako na positive on a well-off area, some division perhaps, must be contained by another. Slum areas really are a big problem. We are actually expecting it to increase once we expand testing. But good thing now is that um, the local government unit of Cebu and other cities are are admitting to that particular reality, and we're they're actually looking for sites that we can convert into isolation facilities or temporary treatment and monitoring facilities. Samples are taken, but results have been delayed, as the labs have not been able to keep up. And for the low income, getting tested is a risk. Admittedly, the um, idea of healthcare is healthcare consultation equals cost. The health has already issued a particular package for COVID-19 cases, be it moderate, severe, or um, mild cases. So not something that uh, should be take the anxiety of our urban poor communities if they eventually become sick. But many are still not assured. Phil Health, the national health insurer, previously bore the full cost of COVID-19 treatment. Then in mid-April, they announced that only subsidies will be given. That's not the only sign that Philippines' healthcare system is straining under the weight of the pandemic. I am Dr. Vico Angelo de Leon. I am an anesthesiologist. I am the one responsible for intubating critically ill patients, COVID-19 infected patients. This process of intubation is a life-saving procedure. However, it is so risky in such a way that it would create um, aerosols or droplets that put us at risk of uh, getting infected with that disease. According to the World Health Organization, in the Western Pacific region, the Philippines has one of the highest number of medical staff infected by COVID-19. We have uh, what they call the supply of those uh, resources and, and PPEs, but um, those supplies we get runs out. And to 
are and sometimes we resort to reusing them no? in uh, in the front lines we're trying our best to combat um, these uh, deficiencies by procuring enough supplies and through uh, some donations from from our donors Philippines has uh, one of the highest uh, number of medical staff uh, infected with COVID, maybe because of the enormously number of um, patients coming in. And that um, though there are protocols stated, but uh, mostly they are due to uncooperative patients during history taking. Patients have been known to lie about their travel history and medical conditions out of fear of being shamed for having COVID-19. I encourage everyone to do their part by staying at home while we are battling this virus, while we are on the front lines. The message to Filipinos is clear. Stay at home to stay out of hospital. As simple as it sounds, it remains a feat for people like Christy. Ting uh, maglisod mi pangita og trabaho. Nya way sigurado among kwarta. Di pud pa igo ang hinabang sa gobyerno. Wala kadawatanan unsaon kaha ang pag-eskwela sa mga bata. Di wan pud taganahan nga matakdan sila og masakit. The strict lockdown was lifted on June 1st, and quarantine measures have eased to revive the economy. Industries like manufacturing, retail, food and beverages, and others are operating with health protocols in place. But the government has not reached their goal of testing 1% of the population, and there are concerns about undetected cases. Community quarantine, home isolation, hand washing, work from home options, um, these things are helping. If you relax too early, you could see the transmission going to our vulnerable group. For Christy and her family, living hand to mouth meant the daily hustle was their only means of survival. The pandemic has made their difficult lives even harder. But she has not lost hope.